In fall 2009, designer Christopher Bailey live streamed his Burberry runway show in 3D around the globe, starting a trend in fashion technology that continues to gain momentum. Always at the forefront of Fashion 2.0, FIT professor Terry Bloom caught the 3D wave and she set out to bring the technology to her campus. While student designs paraded down the catwalk at FIT's Pomerantz Center, just steps away, the show is being live streamed in 3D. The college is committed to representing the work as in the, in the best possible way, and I think stereo is and the technology has come along. It's affordable, it's made it possible to do this, and uh, the cameras are getting better and better. FIT partnered with production company UV Factory to take their senior runway show into the third dimension. I used to teach here at FIT. I taught the computer animation class. This is the second year we've done the fashion show here at FIT in 3D. Uh, last year, I believe, was the first time ever in North America there was a fashion show in 3D, so we're quite excited to be back, actually. 3D cameras basically see like your eyes. In order to create a 3D image, you need two cameras, you need two lenses. And then at the end of the end of that, you need two projectors. So it's it's kind of a magic trick. What's always amazing to me is the technology is jumping by leaps and bounds. Instead of having two cameras, we had to combine together with a special rig. The cameras are now coming all built into one, both lenses are into one camera. Fashion is not just a visual thing, it's an emotional thing. You can actually feel it. There's a visceral feeling when you see things. 3D allows that depth, that geography, to actually extend or allow the person to realize the fashion even, even on a more personal level. Students and faculty were inspired by the 3D experience. It was great because I had a chance to really see my students. They work so hard and just to see it you know, come alive on 3D, amazing. I love that they are adding the element of technology. Um, and that's exactly where we're headed in this school. So I'm very happy to see it succeed. It's like a front row seat. <laughs> it's kind of like better seats than everyone else, actually. My design concept is as well in 3D, so it's going to be exciting to watch it. You know, the garment is something very 3D objective. The technology is just evolving so fast. Hopefully, you know, those kind of technology helps our garments look more real. It really makes me excited that, that I'm a student and eventually I could showcase my, my design in 3D. You really see the clothes come to life, so no effort goes to waste. Absolutely, we're going to be seeing more of this. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot more technology, you know, um, in the classrooms, in, in the retail stores, uh, everywhere. Technology always benefits students. New technology brings options for new creativity. So if a student is working on something and can look at it in 3D, it gives them a different way to see something, might you know, inspire a different idea or a different creativity. So I've always looked at, at, at technology as enabling creativity. You don't have to be there if you can live stream it 3D and bring it into your own living room. All signs point to the fact that eventually it will replace the actual runway show. The future of fashion won't be um, a novelty because you won't imagine looking and enjoying and engaging with fashion without 3D. As tech gets trendier by the second, we wondered, what does the future hold for 3D eyewear? Are we ever going to get rid of the glasses? That's the holy grail right now. When they get to the point where you can have the 3D experience without the glasses, that's when they're really expecting it to take off. And what do you think of those glasses? My friend kept telling me that it looked cool on me and I couldn't really see it, but... 